Hello friends, welcome to episode 19. In this video, we are going to see how you can implement parent and child cases in Dynamics 365. So let's go ahead and have a look. So you might face situation where you receive similar cases and you do not want to pay attention to each case as such because the nature of all those cases are similar. Well, in such a situation, you can create a parent case and identify similar cases and link them as child cases. So you can provide a solution to your customers and finally close the parent case and choose if you want to automatically close the associated child cases. Alternatively, you can also choose you know, if all the child cases are closed, only then you can close parent cases. Or you can also choose to handle each case individually, even though there is a parent-child relationship. All right, so here's a scenario. After Business Central training, customers employ face a lot of challenges in setting up Business Central. So instead of creating individual cases, a parent case is created for, let's say, Business Central setup issue. So whenever a new issue is raised by the customer related to the system setup, a child case is then created against that parent case. And after understanding all the issues and scenarios, the Tech Quantum team decides to create a knowledge based training article, let's say, so all the issues can be resolved or give a training instead. And finally, to close all the child cases, the parent case is closed. All right, so to be able to use the parent child case relationship feature, first thing you need to note is the setup. So you can click on the cog over here and then click on advanced settings. Then you click on settings and then service management. And under service management, you'll find an option called parent and child case settings. So let's just open that. Now over here in the case settings, you can first of all, choose the attributes uh, from available section to the selected section. And what it will do is whenever you create a child case, you can then select which attribute has to be inherited from the parent case. So in this case, case title and customer is already selected. Let's just go ahead and select uh, some more. So let's say owner and then maybe subject for the classification. And you can choose uh, more fields if you like. Now there is another setting which is important in this case and that is specify closure preference so there are three options first is blank second is close all child cases when parent case is closed and then do not allow parent case closure until all child cases are closed. So you can understand the use of all these settings based on their description itself. However, if you choose blank, that means that you have to close the cases individually, even though they have the parent child relationship. So in this case, for example, let's take an option. Uh, let's say I want to close all the child cases when a parent case is closed. So let me just choose the setting and click on OK. Now, I'm not going to discuss in detail how the cases are created. For that, you can look into previous videos or blog articles that we have uh, already done. So in this case, let me just quickly go ahead and create a case. So I will provide over here a uh, business central setup issues, which is a generic title. And as a subject, let me just select that um, as query. And the customer over here is Adventure Works. And for description, let me just add um, this case is related to all the setup issues faced by the customer. And then let me just choose the type as query. And as far as priority is concerned, let me just select high and then, all right. So we have our parent case, uh, which is being created over here. There's a tab called case relationship over here. And over here, you will find a couple of tabs and among them is child cases over here. So let's just say that, uh, you know, uh, the customer call a couple of times and they have raised uh, some issues. So let's just quickly go ahead and create some child cases in this case. So if I click on new case, case over here. So as you can see, um, the customer details, the case title, the subjects and the owner is automatically being inherited from the parent case because that was the mapping that we selected in the settings. So over here, we can uh, provide a description saying um, they had issues with the GL account setup. So issues setting up GL accounts. And then we can click on save and close. So over here, you can see that a child case has been created. Let us just quickly go ahead and create some more uh, new cases. So just save and close and then create a new case over here. So we can provide a description, let's say, and then click save and close. Okay, so here we have a parent case called business central setup issues and we have all the child cases which are related to setup. 
Now, let me just go into a child case once again, just to specify one more thing. So there might be a situation where, you know, a support consultant has registered a case, not from the parent case, but, uh, you know, just individually, you can go to the case details and then you can provide uh, the lookup for the parent case. So it will be automatically linked. Now, since we have created this case directly uh, from the parent case, so you can see that, uh, you know, it has a link to the parent case already. So we can go to the parent case again and let's just say that over the period of time, uh, you know, all we have worked through the case and we have followed all the business processes. So we have reached to a stage where we have already provided a training as a solution uh, to the customer or have provided a KB article, uh, you know, or have taken a screen session uh, with them uh, and resolve the case. So let's just say that we are ready to close the parent case. So let me just go to case relationship and show you right now that all the child cases are in active state. So if I click on resolve case, and then in this case provided training, and let's just say that the billable time was uh, two hours and case is resolved. And then let's click on resolve. So now you can see that uh, all the child cases are also resolved as we resolve the parent case over here. So try to play around with the settings and see what results you get.